holder of omniscience. Once you enter a mental institution with the text of this ritual on your person, mention the holder of omniscience to the first name tag bearing person you see, then turn to leave. If you leave successfully, thank the holder for their kindness and never attempt this ritual again. If the person grabs your arm, let them drag you into the depths of the institution, strap you to a gurney, and rip out your organs. If this is not the first time attempting the ritual, your consciousness will be split among these body parts. As your body rots, you will see from the point of view of what ate you, what ate them, and so on, until you can barely distinguish between them. If it is your first time, you will find yourself in the body of a child with two parents, clenching this ritual on a black piece of paper in your hand. During your childhood, force your family to move from place to place by any means necessary. When you try getting them to move, be cautious about your own safety, for you may not enter any hospitals or health clinics in your pursuit. If you do, you will face the same fate as if you tried the ritual a second time. Hope your parents are not conscientious, lest they take you to a doctor's appointment every year, as they should. The schools you go to may have armed police within them. Avoid them as often as possible, for if you draw their attention, they will not hesitate to jail you for an arbitrary reason, and huge, slavering jaws await you there. Finally, all semi-reflective surfaces will be completely transparent for you. You will not be able to see anyone's reflection, though they can see yours. If you do see a reflection, flee immediately, disregarding all earlier rules. Anyone who tries to stop you will face the punishments your false reflection conducts. Eventually, your parents will mention being in financial ruin due to how often they've had to move. They may move in with their parents, which will make your job easier. Quickly, get all the adults in the house in front of a television, then ask the question, What is the most you can know? and turn it on before any of them can answer. The television should show a brightly colored children's show, with characters espousing harmful conspiracy theories with the fervor and the voices of young children. They may, for example, imply that consuming large amounts of selenium is good for the body, or that lead helps increase mental capacity. Eventually, they will start attacking opinions you hold or held strongly. Accept these things wholeheartedly, never flinching or looking away from the screen. You are now battling with the adults in the room. The more adults there are in the room, the more you can relax, as the television can only attack one person at a time. As soon as one of them tries to turn the TV off, you have effectively succeeded. The person who lost will turn the television off and say in a medley of unfamiliar voices, There is no one who is truly omniscient. If you lost, you will find yourself staring at a black screen for the rest of eternity, convinced you've forgotten to do something, but completely blanking on what it is. If anyone else lost, everyone in the room except you will be pulled into the screen, and a few seconds later, the holder of omniscience will come out. They will resemble a hastily formed, slowly melting amalgam of all the people sucked into the screen. Keep your expression blank. The holder will ask you, Do you think omniscience is desirable? And hand you a fleshy biscuit which looks like you. 
the version of you who went to prison will see the slavering jaws of the version of you who succeeded. And if you choose to eat them, you will know what led them there. The holder will do this again and again, once for each time you went to prison, and once you cannot eat any more, refuse. If you become greedy and find yourself able to chew but unable to swallow, you will end up in a coma from which you cannot wake. If you have eaten all of them, you will gain all the memories of the version of you who tried to get this holder twice or more. Unlike in the punishment, these memories will rest comfortably in your brain like dreams or imaginary scenarios. Crawl through the screen. You will find yourself staring at all the versions of you who saw their reflection in a mirror and ran. You are now that reflection. You will chase the past versions of yourself who will all overlap in a straight line in front of you until you are grabbed by someone who mistakes you for the real child. They will sink into your body and you will see everything they know which you can choose to remember if you really want. In a flash of red light, you will find yourself in front of the hospital where you started this attempt. As the you who was turned away by the name tag bearing individual comes out, run up to them and attempt to get them back in. Disregard any attempt they may make on your life. This amount of suspicion is par for the cause. Your only goal is that they go back inside, dooming them to eventually become part of you. Find the nearest ledge on which you can sit and ponder what you've learned. These will be your last few thoughts before your knowledge is folded neatly into the mind of the versions of you who never went in search of this object to begin with. These versions of you will periodically be blessed with the knowledge of trials you have never done, both failures and successes. This restricted omniscience is object 2535 of 2538. The ones who scoff at it merely underestimate the power of what they know.